Here at Bowie, we have 100 vehicles. That's 99 MAN XXL cabbed tractor units, EGR 440 engines. We have an MAN six wheel rigid and we have 230 curtain sided trailers. We deliver ambient grocery products to supermarket depots and small cash and carry locations in the UK. The work consists of single and double shifting, but most of our work is tramping. In fact, it's 80% of our total work. Due to most of our work being tramping, the drivers tend to keep their old vehicles. We did a trial with a, a Euro 6 tractor unit in the summer. Um, obviously all our vehicles are Euro 5, so I was quite interested to see what we would achieve from the Euro 6. I instructed our traffic department to put an average fuel performing driver in the vehicle so that way we'd get a, a good sort of representation and figure as to how it performed against a Euro 5. At the time of the trial our fleet average was 9.32 mpg. We run the Euro 6 vehicle for six weeks and it averaged out at 11.53 mpg. Thinking that's extremely high, we've obviously dug down to look where that information came from. All our vehicles have got telemetry, as had the EO6 vehicle, and it's all microlyzed, so it's all from the same system. What we wanted to make sure was that the driver was driving the vehicle exactly how he'd been explained by the driver trainer, as all our vehicles are driven by drivers that have had a full training process. Um, what we actually found was that the driver driving his Euro 5 in the period of six weeks preceding the trial, which albeit was a little earlier in the year and it was warmer weather, he achieved 9.31. So that proved he was an average fuel performing driver. But when we looked at his figures, that was a clear over 2 mpg improvement. The fleet average of 9.32 takes into a lot of different operations. We do some container work where the fuel isn't as good. And like any fleet, we have drivers that are very, very good and some that are not so good. So to take the driver who drove the Euro 6 for the six week period in his own vehicle, to me, was a fair comparison between one and the other because we made sure he did much of the same work. The only thing I would add is that the training to drive the Euro 6 is somewhat different than driving a Euro 5. So whether you just told the driver to get out of a Euro 5 and drive a Euro 6 without any additional training, maybe that figure wouldn't be quite so different. On the completion of the trial, when the driver was debriefed, he commented that the vehicle seemed to have much more low down power and torque and it was better matched to the transmission and therefore was much easier to drive. As this Euro 6 trial proved to be successful, due to the fact that by the end of 2015 we need to be looking at a re vehicle replacement programme, we will be doing further trials to determine which is the best way forward. We do a very thorough trial um, which is based on fuel economy and how we do this is take a number of vehicles, we ask other competitors to put a vehicle in if they want to tender for a replacement programme. We get a loaded trailer and ensure that each trailer is the same weight, same type, brakes aren't binding, tyre pressures are all the same and we have a predefined route and the driver from the company that brought the vehicle goes out with one of our drivers, he then comes back, we record the fuel used, our driver then goes out with the driver from the company in the passenger seat, does exactly the same route again, we then check the fuel again and we come out with an average over the two routes. We tend to do this on a Sunday and each vehicle leaves our site two or three minutes behind each other so that they're not sort of racing each other and we come up with an overall victor at the end of the day and for the last two trials we've done, in fact since 2007, MAN have always been the best performer on fuel. We've always found MAN very accommodating and when we're looking at trucks to buy, we always look at the whole life package. 
MAN, like any other manufacturer, always has problems in service. But we then judge the, the manufacturer on how they deal with those problems. And with experience, we found that MAN deal with them much more proactively than any of their competitors. On the odd occasion when we have had issues that the dealer couldn't deal with, we've always found MAN to be very proactive and go the extra mile. Our local dealer is Aquila Truck Centres. They have a man on our site. We have an impressed parts stock. The parts are managed on our site. They provide technical training. They supply the technical equipment. They allow us to do our own small warranty work on site, so that minimises any downtime. We don't have to drive into the dealers. And if there's any major warranty work, Aquila fitters come on our site, use our own workshop, and again, we don't have any downtime from that. So all in all, perfect package.